All right. So yep, are we ready, YouTube. Kevin? Yeah, yeah. We have a YouTube station that, um, or whatever it's called, account. Okay. People can go back and view them if they missed or. You guys are high tech. You are high tech. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Well, before I begin, I just want to let you know that the Bolsa Chica Conservancy staff are very excited about having a group of veteran photographers coming to the wetlands. And in fact, after this presentation, I did, I was going to, Catherine, invite um, a Conservancy staff member to this call, but I figured Let's, let's keep it internal first, um, okay. you know, with veterans and, the, and, your, and your program, see how, let's work out all the details before we introduce outsiders. Okay, okay. okay. that's fine. And we've got the uh, YouTube video, I can send you the link. Okay, that's beautiful, it's beautiful, okay. Yeah. All right, so um, I will need to have you share my screen. So I'm gonna share screen. So you'll have to. Yeah, yeah you're already me. sharing screen. Okay. You can no, see my no, you're not. <laughs> That's my yeah. screen. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to do this. Get out of here. Put you over here. And I'm going to start with uh, the meeting presentation. Can everybody hear me still? Yes. You haven't shared your screen, but nothing's sharing yet. You can't see my you can't see my presentation? No. No. Um, no. Try it again. Yeah, go out and come in and go in again. Steve, did you do your magic with sharing screen with there? Yes. Can, can yeah. you see that? Yeah. yeah, it's multiple participants. Can you see it now? No. no. Mm. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Hold on, please. Mm -hmm. Just a reminder, there's two clicks on share screen. Wow, okay. Look here at the bottom, and then when you come up to the screen, there's a bottom right-hand corner on your screen. That look. Right, I can't, I'm, I'm trying to find the... A share screen, it should give you multiple um, choices of anything opened. All right, let's try this again. My apologies. It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to share screen mm -hmm. at the bottom here. Yeah, and you should see um, choices, things you have open. Got it. And then and it be another share screen to bottom right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you're sharing. You're sharing you're now. Doing it. Yeah. There you Sorry. go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's try this again. Here we go. We have your desktop with a hummingbird. Yeah, we have. All right. Yeah. All right. Bird. Can you yeah, see my you screen it. now? Yes. 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 Sweet. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Sweet. I am going to minimize you guys. There we go. All right, so I've already introduced myself. Uh, my name is Cynthia Dunbar. Uh, my bird friends call me CJ, uh, and that's what I go by, short for Cynthia Jean. I am an Army combat veteran, and I retired after 30 years of service. My last duty station was Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, DC, retired in 2010. Uh, after I retired, I became a in, in very enthusiastic bird watcher, kind of calmed me down. I needed a healthy hobby. Uh, somehow I got into birds and it just exploded from there after I retired. And then I shortly became 
uh, interested in bird photography. Now I'm not great, I still work at it, but I do have a pretty decent uh, camera. Um, I'm learning every day. Actually hope to learn from you, but um, if you join me at Bolsa Chica, we're gonna have an expert bird photographer, bird photographer there with us um, that um, can show us some, some ropes on um, best approaches to bird photography. I don't know what kind of uh, cameras everybody has, but doesn't matter, we'll figure it out. Uh, I am a volunteer. I volunteer at the VA Long Beach Patient Garden. I live right across from VA Long Beach. Uh, I set up and manage bird feeders for veterans and staff to enjoy. Um, Kevin, uh, who's, who's on, the, on the call with us, helps me out. Um, and I really appreciate his help. Uh, he, he, he's my right-hand man right now. Uh, I also volunteer at a place called the International Bird Rescue in San Pedro. It's right near the Mammal uh, Rehabilitation Center there on uh, Gaffey, if you know where that is. And what I do is I handle wa uh, water birds, mostly water birds, seabirds, shorebirds uh, that need um, rehabilitation that are injured or sick. Uh, and I help with that uh, endeavor. In addition, I volunteer for the Bolsa Chica Conservancy, supporting its ecological reserve programs, such as uh, eyes on nest sites. Uh, I do um, Bolsa Chica Reserve Watch, and I'm hoping to add this to the mix, uh, uh, hosting a group of veteran photographers into Bolsa Chica, hopefully maybe once a month, once uh, every other month or once a quarter, uh, whatever it takes. So the Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve is located in Huntington Beach, as you all know. It's roughly uh, 1,300 acres of coastal estuary. It includes over 800 species of plants, fish, and wildlife. And if, if there are any photographers that are interested in uh, taking pictures of plants, flowers, uh, fish, uh, and other wildlife, uh, including birds, please join us. There are more than 295 bird species uh, have been identified at Bolsa Chica and is a major stopping point for the migrating shorebirds on the Pacific Flyway. So migration happens twice a year and that's those are the seasons where uh, the Bolsa Chica wetlands really thrive. Right now, it's summer. It's not really a um, migrating season, but we're hope to see, we hope to see something uh, out there that's uh, interesting to everybody. It is definitely a hot spot for bird lovers and photog photographers worldwide. This place is hopping during the migration seasons. All people from all over the world come over and, and enjoy um, the, the the migrating season at Bolsa Chica. Bolsa Chica. Migrating season. Sorry? When, when is the migrating season? So it's fall and spring. Fall and spring. So we're so it's it's actually going to start sometime early, late September, early October for the fall. Yeah. So Bolsa Chica Conservancy has a brand new interpretive center located at the Warner North parking lot. It is a beautiful center. If you haven't seen it, we can also go and take a look at it as well. So this is a map. Uh, I'll have a copy of this map for everybody uh, on Monday. I just wanted to show it to you that um, on the far left over here is the parking lot. If you could see my cursor, uh, yep. parking lot north, which is on Warner. And then over here in the far right, lower corner is a parking lot south that's on PCH. And then it shows all the trails and the bodies of water that are included in the wetlands. And we'll, we'll, you'll see that in a, a closer, uh, when, I, when I give you copies on Monday. So who's interested? Well, this guy on the right is interested for sure. That's I don't Darryl. know if you know him, but that's Darrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he is so excited about joining us 
for the first uh, uh, tour to the Bolsa Chica. So he's going to join us for sure. Um, I'll okay. probably talk to him tomorrow. I will be at the uh, Veteran Garden tomorrow because I have some work to do. Um, but I, pro I will probably run into him, but I have his uh, cell phone. I'll let him know um, what our plans are for, for Monday and he'll join us. But many veterans have expressed an interest in learning about birds that they see at the garden. And that's how, that's really how it, it got started and put a seed in my head. Many have expressed an interest in grouping together and venturing out to explore birds they do not normally see at the garden. So I'm offering a guided bird watching tour through the Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve to learn about birds, develop bird watching skills, and bird photography. Yeah, so that's really my thing. You know, I'm not really uh, a botanist. I'm not really uh, a plant person, a, a, a flower person. I'm strictly uh, a bird photography. So if you're interested in that, please join us. So who lives at the VA garden? Now, today, all these pictures right here are, are photos that I took um, that at the VA garden, they, these, all of these were, were um, ID'd at the VA garden last year. Uh, like for example, the first one here, um, this is the American goldfinch, beautiful yellow bird. This black headed grosbeak here is a very, uh, you know, very uh, sprouty, very, uh, very loud. It sounds like a, a ro uh, American robin type bird, gorgeous bird. And here's the majestic Cooper's hawk. He hangs around the uh, patient garden. Here's our orange crowned warbler, very small bird that likes to hide its orange head all the time. But I was able to catch the orange in the, in the top of his crown. Um, before he, he tucked it away. There are many Western bluebirds. Um, this is a, a at, at bottom left here is a, 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 uh, a male Western bluebird um, pictured at the VA garden. There is a nest house wren um, that uh, we maintain at the garden. Here's uh, the dad uh, feeding, feeding the chicks um, in, the, in the nest box. Also at the VA garden is the hooded oriole, very beautiful yellow and black hooded oriole um, we've seen at the VA garden. And in fact, we have, we have oriole feeders at the VA garden. And of course, the hummingbirds, several hummingbirds at the VA garden. Um, so we put up several uh, hummingbird feeders there at the VA garden. So who lives at Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve? Well. Water birds, waterfowl, shorebirds, way different from what you would see at the garden, obviously. So these pictures I took at uh, Bolsa Chica, not this year, but throughout the, you know, uh, the previous years. Uh, the least tern, this is the most uh, uh, endangered species, uh, a, a huge species of concern such that the Ecological Reserve has its own program to protect the least tern. And I'll show that to you when we go to uh, Bolsa Chica. Double-crested cormorant, you know, I call this guy the dinosaur. He's, he's absolutely ferocious, but he's awesome, beautiful. I know everybody has seen one in their lifetime if they live in California. And then, you, of course, the very feisty surf scooter here, um, hard to catch. I've tried at the... Uh, at, uh, at uh, the bird rescue, we had an injured one at the bird rescue and man, they are, they are feisty, but I love them. And of course the beautiful brown pelican here, um, we hey, take Jay, care of, yes. Can I point something out? The cormorant, they're nesting at the Huntington Beach Lake. Are you are aware they? of that? No, I, I am not aware yeah. of that. That's fabulous. Yeah, they, built, they built a wooden pathway around a little section of the lake and then they had to put an awning over it. So there's over 30 cormorant nests above that awning. That's fabulous. And the young are getting big enough, they should be flying the coop. So if you get the chance, Huntington Beach Lake, that's on the uh, west side near uh, Kathy Mays. And just to go around and see that wooden walkway with the awning over there, you go halfway under the awning, few of the nests are out over the water. 
I'm sorry to interrupt. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate that. That's good information. I, I did not know that. So again, we have brown pelicans. They're everywhere. They're in abundance this year. Um, then this little guy on the bottom left, he's called a common yellow throat. You're going to hear him before you see him. Um, we will definitely hear him uh, at the wetlands. Uh, they're all over the place and they're, and they're beautiful. Black mass, beautiful. Western grebes, we're going to see Western Clark grebes, I hope. Um, they're, they're pretty common, pretty cool to watch. Uh, we, we have the great egrets, big white, uh, large, large birds. Uh, and of course, the fish eating osprey um, pops out from time to time at the reserve. So in addition to those, these are very, very common at the reserve. On the left is the beautiful yellow-eyed ring-billed gull. Uh, they're all over the place. That's, that's uh, a picture I took just recently. And of course, on the top right is the long-billed curlew, uh, very common at the wetlands. And of course, not so common, but from time to time we see at the bottom right, the green heron. Excuse me, sorry, pops up from time to time. Okay. Also back here, this is called a, a horned lark. I'm sorry, horned grebe. This guy is in its mating plumage. Very, very, very beautiful bird. Horned grebe. Bottom is a horned lark. We will probably see the horned lark. Um, they're very common uh, at the at the Bolsa Chica, and they're really attractive. Great, great looking birds. And on the top top right is uh, green winged teal. I'm hoping to see one. Um, maybe not, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. And of course, this picture was taken. This is a willet. It's taken during the day, but he decided to creep up in some kind of, you know, crevice in the shadows. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, I, I found it a perfect moment to take a shot of this guy. They are also very common at um, the wetlands. Now, this is apparent. These are California lease terns, as I mentioned before, very endangered, um, very protected at the ecological reserve. And I'll show you that if we all park at the south lot, I can show you where the nesting area uh, used to be. They're gone now. But this is a shot I took of a parent with a fish in its mouth getting ready to feed the chick that's over here. And the chick is underneath a, 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 a roof tile that we lay out on the nesting site to protect the, um, the chicks uh, from sun and from predators. And they seem to work out pretty well, but this is a pretty, pretty cool shot. And we'll show you, I'll show you also where, um, where those, uh, where they used to be and where they will be again during migration season. So, First of all, these are um, cedar waxwings. This is in my back patio. Uh, they come, cedar waxwings come uh, every season, every spring. And I just love this picture because these, these guys are so, so beautiful. Black, I love the black, ma black mask. If the, if the bird has a black mask, I, I'm, I'm in, I'm in. I, I just love that. But um, yeah, so we need to talk about, pretty much we already discussed, um, the, the, the logistics uh, surrounding uh, this, this uh, tour uh, on Monday. So we talked about transportation and we talked about parking. So we all agree then to meet uh, at the target at 7.30? Yes. Okay, so let me write that down, 7.30. And some of you, however, are going to venture to the South Lot on your own? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. So walking distance and limitations. Um, is there anything that I need to know 
uh, as it pertains to limitations. I'm thinking that if we all park at the south lot, um, the bridge, if we go over the bridge um, and we'll go to a couple of uh, viewing points, maybe, you know, what do you, what do you think? Should we just go until we can't go anymore? Should we um, cap it off to a certain time? Um, what do you think? Um, play it by play it by ear when we get there. Yeah. Just play um, it by ear. Okay. And for your information, Larry, uh, we have my handicapped scooter. I'll have it be on a scooter. Okay. So the one south scooter. Is very, one scooter, yeah. South is very conducive to the scooter. Okay. Bring Perfect. your spare, would you? Too? Can you bring <laughs> Bring the where? Bring your spare scooter too. So well, that's, that's called a walker. <laughs> so so with the scooter, um, so the the bridge is okay for the scooter. But what about as we venture onto a hard, like surface sand surface? Is that still okay? Yeah, that's fine. All all that area on the uh, north side of the uh, bridge is fine. Perfect. Okay, good. So, you know, equipment, let's talk about equipment. So every, obviously everybody probably has a camera. Um, if you have your own binoculars, I would certainly bring them. But Bolsa Chica Conservancy is offering this group um, loaner binoculars. Oh, great. Okay, so they, uh, I'll, I'll be working with uh, the staff at uh, the Conservancy and they will more than likely meet us um, at the south lot at eight o'clock and they will pass out binoculars to the folks that need them. Oh, great. Okay. Um, also attire, you know, dress appropriately for the, for the conditions. It's probably gonna be hot. Uh, you know, it's kind of sandy, uh, hard surface sand. Um, I wear tennis shoes, no problem with that. Sometimes I wear uh, hiking boots. I wear shorts, you know, a hat, um, sunscreen, well, whatever it takes. Everybody knows what they need to survive Bolsa Chica, right? <laughs> um, safety. Water. Yes. Water. Water, absolutely. Water. And 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 thank you for that. I, I have to warn you, there are no restrooms at the South Lot. No restrooms. So please use the restroom at uh, uh, Target, if you will. And after we are done with our tour, we can carpool to the north lot where they have restrooms near the interpretive center. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. Yeah. So the the last time I was there, they had the porta potties that when it parked in the corner. They're not there anymore. There's one at the south lot. There's one porta potty that is locked <laughs> now, right? Because it's for the staff. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I I hate that too. Um, however, the staff will be with us. Mm. Right. So. They, they will more than likely let you in if you need to if you if you need to go in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Safety and hazards. There's wildlife there. There's coyotes there. There are an abund. There's a, a, a large amount of rattlesnakes that are there, not normally seen over the last f few years. Um, most, I, I guess, because of climate change but we're not gonna be in the area where they are because we're gonna be on the South area. So any questions on that? No, okay. Terrain, we talked about the terrain. It's gonna be a bridge, hard surface sand. Um, it's gonna be warm. Uh, and of course there's water all over the place. So um, we just have to be mindful of where we step. Uh, and to stay on the trail. Okay. Any questions? 
Okay. With that said, this is a buffle head, picture of a buffle head I took um, probably a couple of years ago at Bolsa Chica. Um, we should see quite a few of those. Now, I will tell you that <clears throat> this year, full disclosure, this year has been very slow birding year. Not sure why, but someone mentioned it. I think it was uh, Stephen mentioned that he had gone, you know, to Bolsa Chica quite a few times and have seen absolutely nothing. That could be the case. You know, that, that, that it, it is what it is when it comes to birds. They're there or they're not there. So, you know, sometimes we're gonna see a lot of stuff. Sometimes we may not see much of anything. So, but I hope that you join me anyway on Monday and hopefully we'll see some really nice, really cool stuff. We're getting there in plenty of time. Um, it is the summer and summer is low on birds, but um, I'm hoping that uh, we will continue this project or this program um, throughout, not only now, but through the migratory, migra migration seasons um, in, in spring and in, and in fall. So um, with that, that's my presentation. I do have a, a very short five, six minute uh, video that I put together to show some of my photos that I've taken over the years uh, at Bolsa Chica, at the VA garden and the surrounding area here in Long Beach, um, including my own back patio, if you're interested. Yeah. Just yeah. Let me know. Definitely. Okay. So I'm gonna try this, all right? This is my first time trying a video. So here we go, I'm gonna X out of here. Get rid of this, turn this on. Looks like it's gonna work. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a second, please, gotta do this. Share sound. I believe you have to enable sound before you go into it. Right. Yeah. You might have to go out of share screen and go back in. Okay. Well, I see. Hold on. Star slideshow. Da da. Can you hear it? Yes, we can. Yeah.
right. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Very nice. Thank you. Fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, you know, I have a lot of work to do. Hope, hope to learn some from you guys. Um, you know, little, little, little mistakes here, little mistakes there. Still trying to learn it, but appreciate it. Thank you so much. There's a lot of beautiful birds and one ugly one. Uh oh, <laughs> let me guess. <laughs> Turkey vulture, right? And CJ, are you aware of the egret nesting area in Huntington Beach Park? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. Yep. Yes, thank you. Um, All right. Do you use, um, like, um, what kind of lenses do you use? Like zoom lenses? Or Yes, so um, I use, I have a uh, Nikon, I'm a Nikon person. I use Nikon um, uh, D610 with um, a Zoom uh, Nikkor 80 to 400. That's what I use mostly, very heavy. Yeah. I carry it around my waist, <laughs> it's very oh. heavy, yeah. So, all right. That's that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing. That was fantastic, CJ. Thank you so much. Very <laughs> nice. Thank Very you. Nice. Appreciate it. I especially like the one that duck looking forward with his mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> the surf scooter. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, in your video, what was that bright blue bird? that didn't look like it was from around here. The bright blue bird. Um, are we Looks talking like, about super tall? Yeah, kind of tall and. That, that is a um, golden crown night heron and they are at Bolsa Chica. Mm. Yes. Wow, it's so blue. I, I, I took it like it was just up there and you know, I took it this way. It was in, a, it was right here in our neighborhood. That that oh. that was shot right here in our neighborhood. Oh, yes. Yeah. It was up in a tree. Yes. Oh. Yep. Black crown night herons, um, great blue herons. They nest in trees. They nest in palm trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're nesting right now. Are they still there? May they may still be at Bolsa Chica right now, but they're all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Were you aware of the blue herring that had an injured wing uh, by Kathy Mays last month? I didn't see it in the last couple of weeks, but he was eating squirrels because he couldn't fly and couldn't do anything. So, <clears throat> no, I didn't hear, um, Larry, but I, I hope you saw in my, in my uh, video, Great blue herons do eat squirrels. They eat squirrels, they eat uh, gophers. Um, yeah. They're at the parks, they're at the wetlands, they eat fish, but they definitely go for gophers. Definitely. Right. In well, fact, he, just, he couldn't fly, so I don't, I don't think he could fly. He had a right wing, his wing was injured. Okay. So, I, I don't know if he survived, but there are plenty of squirrels where he was. Right, good. <laughs> All right. So we have I'm a plan. I'm glad to see a photo of the snowy owl. That yes. Here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I have a couple of those pictures. So there's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Thank job. You so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, it. CJ, so, where did you learn photography? I just picked up a camera and started playing with it. Google is my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, I ask questions. You know, I've been quite a few places. I've been to um, Panama birding. I've been to Israel, Jordan, um, quite a few places birding and I learned, I'm a member of the Sierra Club um, and I go on tours with them and I learn from other people. I'm still not perfect, you know, I, I well, who is, but, you know, I do, I do my best to, you know, learn and 
learn from my mistakes. And, you know, it's hard to not get grainy from a distance, you know, but um, I try to keep it as pure as possible. Um, you know, if I have to clean it up, uh, I use, what is it, uh, Adobe Photoshop? Photoshop? Yeah, yeah. In our class here, we have uh, classes in Photoshop and in Lightroom and all of those things to help us improve our photographs. You know, I tried to get into your group. Um, I'm also a patient at uh, uh, the uh, Women in Combat, Combat, combat Stress uh, at VA. Um, and I tried to get into your group, but there was not enough room. And now I'm too busy. Uh -huh. I got a lot of volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you're welcome to join us anytime you can. I appreciate it. Well, I think I'm joining now by, you know. Yes. So we, so we yeah, have well. a plan then, right? Um, to meet Monday, 7.30, Target, mm -hmm. carpool. Should we bump it up yes. to 720 just to give people time to, time to. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yes. Seven, 720. Doesn't 720. Matter. Okay. Yeah. Let's meet and, target 720. Okay. All right. And my mar marching orders is to um, touch base with the Bosa Chica staff, have binoculars ready for you. Um, there's going to be some, uh, some staff members and volunteers, uh, actually a board member wants to um, join us. So I'll see if she can come. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll be on our way. Sounds great. Fantastic. I'm excited about it. Thank you. I'm excited too. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Seriously. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Well, this was fantastic. Thank you so much, CJ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And you, you were probably talking about uh, Dr. Tingy's class. Uh, maybe, maybe that might be, but you're welcome in our group anytime. And really appreciate mind, it. I'll, I'll put you on our email at, uh, list and you can follow us along and join us anytime. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right. Okay. All right. Who's the leader? <laughs> uh, Steve, I think. I think we're about ready to close up. Yeah, um, the one thing, I grew up on a farm, so I know how to go to the bathroom anywhere if anybody want, needs instruction <laughs> <laughs> on how to do that. <laughs> well, maybe talk to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife Services that manages Bolsa Chica uh, wetlands. <laughs> yeah. Bring your yeah. own paper. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of uh, cottontails there, right? Or whatever they call it. so, plants. All right. Well, I believe. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up today. And we'll meet again Friday and then again on Monday morning. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. And I thought John Bolin would be here. I actually met him for coffee yesterday. And he and I have tentative plans around 10 o'clock to go to a place in Long Beach, just past 7th Street. Oh boy, I forgot. I don't know Long Beach very well. Just, uh, I think it's just north, uh, northwest of Naples. Uh, he said mm -hmm. it's a good place for street photography. Um, yes, it is. Uh, it's called it starts with a B, I think. Belmont I Shore. Belmont Shore. Yeah. Belmont Shore. Yeah. yeah. So you might. Well, we can, we can talk more about that on Friday. This would not okay. just be an off-campus, unofficial field trip if you want to join in with us. So. Okay. All right. We a, go to quite often. Yeah. yeah. What date is that? Saturday. We're going to do. Oh, we're gonna Saturday. Do Saturday. Okay. Basically, our main priority is to drink coffee, and second is to take pictures. So, <laughs> all right, see everybody on Friday. Okay. Okay. And thanks again. Thanks CJ. again, Cynthia. Well, thank you. Yeah. Take care. Thank you, CJ. Okay.